Hey guys, it's phase one. This is your weekly uplink where we cover all Star Citizen news. If you're new to this channel, we do all kinds of Star Citizen content, so make sure to subscribe for that. I also stream on Twitch every Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. So if you have any questions or you just want to hang out, you can follow me there as well. All my links are down below. And without any further ado, let's get started. This week in Inside Star Citizen, they're working on a more physical based tire model based on real world data from tires. This allows them to utilize the slip of the tire to determine the speed of the vehicle. To be more specific, the slip of the wheel is how fast the wheel is turning, how fast the engine turns the wheel relative to the ground moving beneath it. They find that the current tire model is a bit arcadey and are looking into a more physical based model. There's a concerted effort to improve the current system to allow flexibility in order to determine how each vehicle will handle as it pertains to sliding and grip. This allows them to fine tune each vehicle to behave the way we'd expect. There is an effort to improve the vehicles like the Great Cat ROC to improve handling. They're also working on a new tank which is using a new track system. Tank's handling is not determined by wheels turning but the differences in speed between the treads. They're also working on the new Cyclone MT, which has given them the opportunity to revise how missiles aim. Just an FYI, the new Tumbro MT is now available to purchase in store for $65 war bond and $75 store credit. You can pick up a limited edition MSR as well for 271 credit or the 2951 Fortuna paint for $11. Bundles with the MT is also available. Links are in the description below. They're also looking into how they can best implement the UI for ground vehicles to bring them up to the same standard as ships. In the future, they're looking into how to improve ground vehicle cameras system to better translate the experience for the player. They're also working on the missile operator mode as well as adding a compass on ground vehicles. So for the sprint report, they're working on bug fixes and visual improvements for refinery kiosks. There is a continual work on the mining UI to contextually display benefits of the new subcomponents. Scan bars are improved to expose all of the relevant data when you're on the mining run. They're working on the non-commercial overlays set for 313. The lighting team has been working on a test bed for lighting tabs. They're splitting all the existing lighting into sectional circuits which can be controlled or affected by a player such as proximity sensors. This is quite interesting because ultimately this will translate over to the base building experience in the future. They're working on a new hospitals in New Babbage. There is further white box progress for the new upcoming colonialism outpost. They're determining how each module will work and affect each other. They're looking into how to allow lighting from the exterior to creep into the outpost itself and vice versa. They're working to preserve modularity to allow multiple configurations and to allow the blend tech to properly allow for spill into each room while minimizing noticeable lines between the modules. They're working with the design team to mark out all the interactable areas for future spaces for players to customize with equipment and decorative items. Star Citizen Live, the VFX team indicated that they ultimately wanted to simulate real weather that could even be seen from space. They're looking into the best option to implement lighting in gas clouds. They need to ensure that the option they decide on can deliver the experience that leads need. They're looking into improving the shield effect so that it does not become too intrusive from the cockpit while it maintains the necessary effects required for gameplay externally. They plan on updating the quantum travel effects as well. Which feature are you most excited for? Let me know in the comments below. If you saw anything in this video that you like, make sure you leave me a like as well. And if you haven't already, subscribe for more. Just to let you know, I now have a Patreon page and a merch store. So if you'd like to support me further, my links are down below. I will see you on the next one.